Yeah, and I'll be taking you on a drive in some of the most exotic and exciting cars in South Africa over the next couple of weeks on drive time. Our first car on the list is the very exciting Alfa Romeo Zagato Spider. Um, the name Zagato will immediately conjure up some thoughts amongst uh, the people in the know. Of course, they are uh, the oldest uh, coach builders in, in Italy, and they've taken this very fine example of a 3-litre V6 Alfa, and they've turned it into an exotic car. I think today, uh, the exotic car, that word conjures up thoughts of uh, something very, very expensive. And certainly in that market, this car is what one could term an affordable exotic. Uh, the car has automatic suspension uh, ride height changes. You can set the car higher or lower from inside the car, which is, is really handy. It allows you to have uh, hard suspension on, on high-speed corners. And then in town, of course, you can have a real comfortable drive. Um, but I think I've said enough, so come with me now and let's try the Alfa Romeo Zagato. Zagato is designed to achieve the maximum synergy between driver, vehicle and road. It combines the thrill of genuine sports car driving with the appearance and engineering that only a car with its own distinctive personality can provide. The car's a limited edition numbered series, with its individual number mounted on a silver disc on the console, ensuring that its value will increase in time. Okay, sitting in the car, it feels very Italian. You've got that sporty feel about the car. Uh, when you have a look at the instrumentation, the white background certainly gives you the feeling that, you, that you're in an outright sports car. It's got a lovely uh, Italian feel steering wheel, the, the seats are well bolstered um, and for a convertible at the kind of speed we're doing, the wind buffeting is not too bad and I guess when you buy an open top car, uh, that's what you come to expect. Uh, we're cruising along in fifth gear now, the car is uh, only doing about 3000 RPM, it's, it's really uh, a very comfortable car to drive, it's, it's not a harsh outright uh, sports car. Uh, and it's, it's a really comfortable car, it's the kind of car you could send your wife to the shop in. I don't know if you'd want to do that, but that's the kind of thing you could do. The 3 litre V6 engine produces some 210 brake horsepower and a top speed of 230 kilometres an hour, with 0 to 100 kilometres an hour reached in 7.5 seconds. Its exceptional road holding is the result of a sophisticated suspension geometry with independent wheels at the front and the De Dion suspension at the rear. The five-speed gearbox is oil-cooled to ensure maximum reliability, even under the greatest stress. Next week on Drive Time, Opel team driver Grant McCleary will join Mike Briggs when he'll be taking a look at the Chevrolet Corvette. And Mike Briggs will be out behind the wheel of this Porsche Targa.